Pasteurization has been used for many years, but what actually is pasteurization? When we first hear of pasteurization, we think of milk. But there are actually many other products, such as apple juice and orange juice, that are pasteurized. So, where did it all really start? And who is responsible for such a great process? Pasteurization was discovered by French scientist Louis Pasteur. Pasteur was born on December 27, 1822, in eastern France. He established a new branch of science known as microbiology. While at the University of Strasbourg, he became interested in fermentation, and this interest continued when he moved to the University of Lille. The faculty had been established partly to serve as a means of applying science to the problem of the industry of the region, especially the production of alcoholic drinks. This work in fermentation enabled Pasteur to identify that the changes brought about when beer or wine ferments, milk turns sour, or meat decays occurs when special microorganisms are present. bar and the question popped up about why all the wine and beer kept going bad. With all of his studies in science, he wanted to find a way to stop beer from spoiling. He dedicated much of his time to finding a solution. Finally, he achieved success by slightly modifying the process used with the broth. This process contained heating the beer to a specific temperature without boiling it to kill most microbes present so it doesn't affect the flavor. He then discovered that chilling the wine would keep the microbes from multiplying. This discovery also worked for many other products such as keeping milk from turning sour and preserving it for a longer period of time. product can be pasteurized. One of them is the batch method. This method uses a vat pasteurizer which mainly contains a jacketed vat surrounded by either circulating water and steam or heating coils of water or steam. This process heats the liquid at 65 Celsius and held for 30 minutes. The other method is known as continuous method. Continuous process method has several advantages over the batch method. The most important being time and energy saving. This process uses plate heat exchangers. This piece of equipment contains stacks of corrugated stainless steel plates clamped together in a frame. There are actually several flow patterns that can be used for this process. Pasteurization, temperature, and pasteurized time has a direct relation to the quality of milk and its shelf life requirements. This leads to 72 to 75 Celsius for approximately 15 to 20 seconds for the product to become homogenized and HTST pasteurized, which we see in regular grade milk. Continuous methods of pasteurization include HTST and UHT. HTST pasteurization or high temperature short time method means that the item is revealed to the heat from 71 to 74 Celsius for 10 to 20 seconds. Then the product is rapidly cooled and packaged. When milk products go through the HTST process, it will have a shelf life of 18 to 20 days. Other products' lifespan may vary the resource to this method. In UHT or ultra high temperature method, the item will be exposed to heat at 137 Celsius for less than a second. 
While the batch pasteurization is performed at a very low temperature, the milk is then held in these temperatures for 30 minutes before being cooled. The lifespan of ultra-pasteurized milk will be extended to an excessive 55 days. In the past, pasteurization was thought to be too much of a risk. Many thought this would be very harmful to the human body and of course no one wants to be responsible for that. But soon, dangerous bacteria was discovered in milk and it led to a lot of people having diseases like tuberculosis. This disease was thought to have been spread through other food products as well, which mostly resulted in death. Pasteurization became law and the number of patients with tuberculosis started to decrease. So, what is the future of pasteurization? Not everyone agrees that pasteurization is necessary. The public health aspect on this subject is to make liquid products safe for human consumption by destroying all bacteria that may be harmful to our health, such as pathogens. But the government's aspect varies because they want to improve the quality of liquid products. They believe that pasteurization can destroy some undesirable enzymes and many spoilage bacteria. Although general sanitary precautions in milk industries are essential, pasteurization remains the most important single step in making sure liquid products are safe for consumers. Pasteurization has reduced many diseases like typhoid fever, food poisoning, tuberculosis, scarlet fever, and much more. In conclusion, it seems pasteurization will continue for more and more decades to come.